He was an outstanding student of Edwin Hubble. Without qualification, he is the modern equivalent of a Kepler or a Galileo. He has empirically shown that the Big Bang theory of an expanding universe is nonsense. Faint objects are intrinsically redshifted. Arp produced the standard reference works on peculiar galaxies, and while compiling these works, he's noticed a significant clustering of faint, highly redshifted objects known as quasars near galaxies with low redshift and unusual activity in their cores. But this confronted astronomers' beliefs, so like Galileo, he was forced to desist from pursuing his research. His telescope time was withdrawn, despite the fact that he was a leading astronomer up to that point, and he left the USA for Germany, where room was made for him at the Max Planck Institute. The universe did not begin with a bang. He found the redshift is mainly a measure of the youthfulness of an object, and this comes into the energy levels of the matter within the object. Yes, he found these quantum redshift effects on a galactic scale. But this confronted astronomers' beliefs, so like Galileo, he was forced to desist from pursuing his research. His telescope time was withdrawn, despite the fact that he was a leading astronomer up to that point, and he left the USA for Germany, where room was made for him at the Max Planck Institute. 